Hello and welcome to the next video uh, on my channel. Uh, I previously did a video on my entire fishing reel collection that I've recently gone through and given a bit of a clean up and uh, re-spool of a few reels. Um, and as I mentioned in the previous video, my three Shimano bait runners all had some uh, 20 year old plus braid on them. Um, braid was still working fine. Uh, but it discolored a lot. Uh, I had quite a few fraying points um, over the years being dragged through uh, piers and boats and who knows what under the water. Uh, so I've decided to re-spool these three reels uh, with some brand new braid. Uh, and as you can see, I've already put on my backing monofilament. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, when you put on braid onto a new reel. <clears throat> it needs to be seated on top of some uh, some monofilament. I believe these days, perhaps modern reels uh, don't need that. They have some kind of uh, uh, way of attaching it into the spool itself. But they, these reels are, uh, yeah, probably over 20 years old or around that. <clears throat> um, and at the time, we're here in Australia anyway, we were pretty limited with braid. I believe I may have previously had uh, this Berkeley fire line on them. Um, so I have decided to go with another lot of fire line, but my other two braids are ones I haven't used before. And I decided to splash out and get a little bit more expensive one, which is the Shimano one. Uh, so, <coughs> excuse me. So I basically have my three different sizes here uh, my 35, 45, and 65 bait runners. Uh, on my baby, as I call it, baby bait runner, I'm going to be putting some uh, some Berkeley Fire Line, which was recently on sale, which is great. Uh, I know this has been around a long time. Uh, this does specifically call it an Ultra 8 carrier. I presume that means there's eight uh, sort of twines of braid on there. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, uh, for this one, I have gone an orange, bright orange color. They call it blaze orange in 17 pound. Uh, I think that should look pretty good on this reel and uh, I've just done some um, some yellow uh, underneath. Uh, for my middle bait runner which is probably my m most used I guess, perhaps my smaller the baby is probably my most used but in general I like to use this one uh, which is my middle series one. I've just underlaid that with some uh, I don't know, I guess you call that like a peachy, pinky light colour with some spare line that I had. And on this reel, I'm going to be using some Shimano, and I'll probably pronounce this wrong, uh, Kairiki, Mysterious Power, and uh, that's going to come in handy. Um, again, it has an 8, which I guess must be the uh, theme of the uh, braid these days. Um, so first time I've used Shimano braid, and this one is a multicolor, which, uh, as you can see here, looks pretty crazy. And I think uh, that'll look so cool on this uh, on this reel. And that's actually why I chose it, just for, for the looks. Um, uh, I'm not 100% sure the color really does anything. I know there are depth um, marking braids and so forth. Maybe this is one of those, but I'm just going for the look of it. Um, the fishing I do, I'm not chasing any species that are really going to be spooked by um, a little bit of coloured line. As you can see, I'm using quite coloured, brightly coloured braid. Um, I do use these with generally a running sinker rig with a quite a long leader, um, a metre or perhaps two metre leader. <clears throat> um, so the line uh, generally isn't going to really come into play. I'm quite excited to test this line out. This was a little bit more expensive than what I would normally buy for a fishing line, but uh, it was on sale at the time. And this one I'm going for a 30 pound. So um, the baby's 17, uh, the middle 30. And now to my uh, big baby. Now I generally use this one more for like a boat application or on a beach or rocks, if I, if I do need another reel um, to use. Uh, it, it still can be used in other applications, but it is quite large and heavy and uh, it really needs to be paired up with a large rod as well, so it's a little bit more limited in its uh, in its uses, but it is a great uh, great reel to have on a boat. 
And again, I'm choosing a new braid, um, which again was on sale not too long ago, uh, called Primal. And uh, it's the Predator, which I'm not sure if that's the uh, brand or perhaps that's like the uh, Kairiki um, sort of name. It's just this series of braid that they're doing. Uh, it is in a high-vis yellow. I really like this yellow. Uh, previously had Berkeley yellow, and it's a bit of a duller yellow, um, even though it is a fluoro, but uh, this one is a high-vis yellow, and it looks really good. I'm hoping that keeps its color for quite some time. Um, now, this one I have gone 50 pounds. Um, again, now the diameters are pretty small with braid, but um, I definitely don't want to go... There's no need for me to go too overboard. I'm not catching uh, anything too huge on these. Um, I think the maximum I've ever caught on these kind of reels is probably like about a, a 10 kilo fish, some, somewhere around that, um, that um, size. Um, I have hooked much bigger um, like stingrays and so forth and haven't had the line break, which has been great. Um, but uh, that's not really what I'm fishing for. So um, yeah, they have caught some reasonably large fish. <clears throat> and uh, I really love braid. I, I think uh, anyone out there that, uh, that uses it um, instantly falls in love with it. It's just fantastic stuff. And this one is uh, just got some leftover high vis pink, I think from one of my surf reels that I did um, as the underlay for the line. So now I'm going to get these braids uh, connected to the monofilament and fill them up, and I'll give you a look when I'm finished. Okay, so I was just attaching my braid to my uh, bottom layer of mono filament on this uh, middle size bait runner. This line actually might not be the best example as the, the mono filament is so much thicker, but um, what I use is a double uni knot, which uh, attaches your braid line to your mono filament and just creates uh, sort of one... I guess you'd call it small knot or two small knots. I'm not too sure how to explain it really. Um, there's plenty of videos on it on YouTube if you'd like to have a look. Uh, but it's a knot I, I quite like to use. Um, it's very strong. Um, and to be honest, if a fish ever gets down to this, uh, to the end of the braid, right down to the bottom of the reel, I, I think I'm in a lot more trouble <laughs> than, than a knot's going to help me. So... Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick look uh, at the knot itself. Uh, basically, you just wrap, you're wrapping both lines um, together and knotting them and then pulling the knot together, and it creates a, a really strong join. Um, yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd give you a look at it, uh, so I'm going to continue putting the lines on here and uh, give you a look at the end. So here you can see the knots on my larger diameter line. I thought this one might show a little bit better example of it. So I hope you can see that. Um, yeah, I do recommend using this knot. It's it's very easy to tie, uh, very strong. And uh, now all I do is cut the two tags down and put on the rest of the uh, primal uh, high-vis yellow line. Okay, so here is the finished results of the three bait runners. Uh, very happy with all the line uh, and quite surprised actually with the quality. Uh, the Shimano line, which cost a little bit more, um, which was this one here, um, where wow, you could really feel the quality um, of the braid. Um, it feels like it would just cast a mile. Just just felt really nice on the fingers. Um, and it was the multicolor, which... Um, the, the top part really doesn't do it justice. It, um, it has basically every color you could imagine almost, um, going through to the bottom from blues to purples, uh, greens. And then of course this top layer is a bit more yellow and pink, but, and, uh, there's a lot of orange under there too. But as, uh, as I cast out and reel in, it'll keep changing colors and, uh, I'm so happy with it. Um, it probably doesn't look that spectacular on the reel like this, but uh, I guess you have to sort of see it in person as it changes colour um, to really make the most of it. But I'd say that would be my favourite of the three braids. Uh, the the Primal actually, um, I don't know if it was because it was such a thick braid uh, <coughs> at 0.32, uh, 
and it's 50 pound. Um, but I was really impressed by that. Um, it it uh, price wise, it's sort of not at the top end, um, but a, a sort of mid to top end, I guess. And uh, yeah, that was really really nice quality as well. The color, the high vis yellow, is certainly um, as described. Uh, it's it's very high vis. <laughs> it looks great. Um, so very happy with that. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, well, I, I, I still really like the fire line, but uh, as I as I said uh, in my previous video, the fire line was the first braid I started using uh, some 20 years ago, um, and I think the other brands have really um, overtaken it now. Um, it is a bit cheaper than the others, so um, there is that point. But uh, yeah, really, I really like the uh, the orange color which was quite hard to find in some of the other brands. So, um, yeah, quite happy with that, though. Um, but, yeah, I guess there's a cheaper price point. It's still great, but, uh, yeah, I, I really noticed spending the extra this time, you definitely get uh, much better quality. So that's my three, three brake runners now uh, all spooled up and ready to go. Uh, maybe in the future I might do a, another video just... Uh, after giving them some really thorough field testing, um, yeah, how they turn out uh, in the field. So might give a bit of feedback. If if anyone else has used these braids, let me know um, how it's how it's been working for you. Um, if you would like to know a little bit more about one of the braids, um, I am going to keep the boxes there. So I'm I'm quite happy to uh, let you know any diameters or manufacturing proce process questions. Um, but yeah, very happy with it and uh, yeah, definitely can't wait to use these reels as soon as possible actually. I might uh, might try and head out this week and maybe uh, maybe use a couple of these. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Um, I will also put a description uh, in the description. I will put a link to my previous video which showed my entire uh, fishing reel collection which was mostly Shimano. Um, just if you're interested, if you've come across this video. Uh, please, yeah, check out the rest of my channel. Um, I don't just have fishing videos on here. Uh, I have a few other hobbies as well and uh, just some general videos to check out. So anyway, I hope to see you again in another video and thanks for watching.